I'm over here at the certification page for Cloud Engineer. And essentially what I'd like to do is walk you through what exactly you're going to be tested on. Now this is essentially what we covered in the previous module, basically what it's going to assess you on. But let's go, go into more details about that. And what you want to do is scroll down here to review the exam guide. This is the outline of what they'll be testing you on. Essentially, the exam guide here states the specific sections that you'll be tested on and the subsections. The section one is setting up a cloud environment. Basically, you're going to be tested on projects, IAM. How to actually, this is a big part of the test as well is basically how to integrate organizations and projects and how to set up billing. This is a, one of the areas you'll be tested on um, a good percentage of the exam. You know, maybe just 5% just in this one area from what I saw. Installing the CLI. Basically, again, a good portion of this exam is going to be CLI centric. Knowing how to go in and view a project with the CLI, how to determine what is the default project, or how to uh, set up login capabilities, or how to set up, for example, additional resources. Again, the CLI is going to be heavily tested. From what I saw, I would say I saw probably 15% of the test questions was just the CLI. Again, they want you to know how to use a CLI, but also how to use the console as well when it comes to managing and setting up the Google Cloud Platform. When it comes to configuring, uh, planning and configuring Cloud Solution, they want you to definitely understand how to use the pricing calculator. Uh, in the module coming up, there's a module that'll cover this essentially. And essentially, the, the demo I'll walk you through will focus on how to understand and price a service, basically. What is the way you'll be billed for that service? For example, how do you get a, a subscription set up for BigQuery, for example? Uh, what are the options for that? For example, how do you get uh, uh, services like Cloud SQL set up? And what can you expect to pay? What, are this, what is a subscription model, essentially? We'll then talk about planning and configuring computer resources. We're going to go ahead and talk about how to pick the right compute solution. Basically, do you want to go with Compute Engine or App Engine or Kubernetes? If you're going to use containers, then Kubernetes would make the most sense. On the other hand, if you're going to be developing and testing, App Engine would probably be the, the better choice. On the other hand, uh, if you want to set up Compute Engine, that's great as well. Part of that as well is to make sure that you understand the machine types. We'll talk about the data storage options. Again, we're going to cover all of those services as well as storage options. Now, on the exam, they do expect you to know the difference between regional, multi-regional, and nearline and cold line. There'll be several questions challenging you to make sure that you pick the right storage solution for the right use case. Network resources. How do you set up load balancing? What are the options? We'll talk about HTTP, network load balancing. We'll also talk about cloud proxy. We'll talk about deploying and implementing a cloud solution. Once again, this is where it goes into how to actually do it. Um, before, the, the sections were more about picking out the right choice and why you may want to use that solution. Now, this is where they want to challenge you and make sure that you know how to, for example, use a CLI to uh, set up uh, essentially disk space or how to set the availability policy or how to change a project. SSH is uh, tested as well. We'll talk about that. Also, too, how to use Stack Driver. Uh, also, too, um, question on how to set up an agent, for example, on a Linux host. 
Kubernetes seemed to me like it was heavily tested compared to what you see in the outline here. I, there must have been five or six questions just on Kubernetes. Once again, that was more for the beta exam. Uh, chances are you'll get two or three just on the production exam. App Engine and Cloud Functions. Now, App Engine is, of course, going to, to be used for a specific use case, just like Cloud Functions. Right, Cloud Functions is what? That's your serverless compute capability. And basically how to tie in services to those compute solutions. We'll talk about deploying and implementing data solutions, specifically these listed. On the test, you definitely want to be able to pick and choose the right service for the right scenario. Another area, too, that was tested was how to import and export and transfer data, essentially, into Google Cloud Platform. For example, do you use the storage migrator service or do you use the API? What is the right choice? There's import-export capability. Networking. Again, mainly VPCs. Part of this as well was to know as far as the limitations and capabilities. For example, quotas, what you can and can't do. We'll talk about service accounts. Like, why do you need a service account? What is the goal of that, right? Load balancing was tested uh, as well more than a few times. Cloud launcher, like, for example, um, what would you do if you needed to essentially deploy a templated solution? What's a marketplace solution, right? This is Cloud Launcher. It's a very nice tool to use. can definitely make your job easier uh, if, uh, if you're just trying to deploy a simple service like WordPress, Nginx, or a LAMP stack, for example. Talk about Deployment Manager. Let's say you need a more complex setup. You want to automate your deployments. This is what you want to use. Ensuring successful operation of a cloud solution. This is where they're going to test you mainly on how do you manage compute resources at a holistic level. For example, how to stop and start the VM, um, how to actually get into the VM, right? Uh, if you're using uh, G Cloud, what would you do to access the VM? What do you need to know? Talk about looking at instance IDs. We'll talk about snapshots, why they're important as well. Kubernetes as well, like I said, was heavily tested. More than a few questions on that. You'll definitely want to know the difference between a pod and a node. And also, to um, understand what container image repository is for, but also um, I'll go through and try to differentiate the difference between container engine, uh, image repository, uh, and um, GitHub and, and all those services that you could consider. Essentially, um, there is there could be some confusion on the test from what I what I've seen. App Engine resources. How do you scale those resources? How do you split the traffic? Data solutions. Now, how do you manage solutions? How do you maintain those solutions to be up and stable? Uh, how do you restore the service? What about uh, bucket policies, for example? Another area, too, was to understand, for example, the difference between um, the data instances, for example, Cloud SQL versus Cloud Data Store and Data Proc. If you're using Apache services, you're probably going to look at Data Proc. On the other hand, if you're using relational databases, you may want to look at Cloud SQL. Looking at subnets, VPCs. Stack Driver. Now, Stack Driver was mainly tested uh, fairly heavily. I want to say four or five questions I've seen on Stack Driver. Basically, they want you to understand how to address alerts, custom metrics. Also, too, how do you uh, essentially keep log files? For example, you do need to know the difference between the free and the premium versions. Uh, how would you uh, retrieve log files, save log files if needed? Um, what about if you want to analyze an application, debug it? Um, would you use debug, trace data, 
Um, logging, what would you use to be able to do that? Section five was around security and access management. They want to make sure that you can assign accounts, assign roles, and make sure that those roles are you know, provisioned according to Google's uh, recommended best practices. Now, I'll cover the Google practices when we get to those modules, but just be aware if you don't know what it is now, you'll want to uh, definitely pay attention to that when we get to that module. And if you ever heard of the, you know, the least privileged approach, that's essentially what we'll be talking about. We'll talk about service accounts, right? So do you set up a user account or a service account? It's very important to distinguish the differences, but also why you need to have a service account. Uh, what would be some of the, the reasons you may want to set it up? Also, too, how to look at audit logs. That's essentially the... Um, the outline in uh, about 10 minutes to hopefully uh, get you a good idea of what you'll be tested on. Again, I encourage you to go to the link for this and take a look at the uh, certification exam guide here so you have an idea of what you'll be tested on. This course will certainly cover 99% of what you need to know for the exam. That's the goal. Let's go ahead and proceed on to the next module.